The new D780 is out and it comes with a lot of upgrades. Now, will those upgrades benefit you specifically? After all, the D750 is still a great camera. We'll show you side-by-side -side footage from the D750 and D780 and go over some of the upgraded features. But before I get into it, remember, come visit us here at the Digital Go to Showroom in Miami. And don't forget, we publish new content weekly. So subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Here at the Digital Goods of Sherman, we've been getting a lot of questions on whether to go with the D780 or the D750. My opinion, well, it depends on what you're gonna use it for. For example, one of the major upgrades on the D780 is its autofocus system. Now, when it comes to recording video, the D780 is much better at keeping your subject in focus. Check out how it tracks my face and keeps it in focus as I move around compared the D750. On paper, both cameras share a lot of the same specs in terms of the amount of autofocusing points, but the D780 has the same autofocus algorithm that's in their top of the line model, the D5. And it also features phase detection autofocusing points that makes a huge difference while recording video. In addition, with the D780, you'll also have the option of recording 4K video up to 30 frames per second and it also outputs 10-bit N-Log for more dynamic range when using an external HDMI recorder. So if you're shooting 4K video, there's your answer as the D750 goes up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. Both feature similar resolutions with the D750 having 24.3 megapixels and the D780 having 24.5 megapixel sensor. So you're really gonna get great stills out of both of these cameras. And under normal situations, you won't even notice a difference in the quality. The difference is that with the D780, you'll get better results when shooting in extreme low light situations. Features a backside illuminated sensor allowing for higher maximum ISOs, the camera sensors sensitivity to light. Now the D750 has a maximum aperture of ISO 12,800 before you go into the expandable modes while the D780 can now reach up to 51,200 before expansion. Of course, you'll only need to use these extreme ISO settings if you find yourself in extreme low light situations and you have no other option to light your scene. Now, depending on what you normally shoot, this may not be an important feature for you. A difference in the LCD screen now is that the D780's LCD screen is a touch screen, which makes it easier when changing settings and when choosing focusing points. Now, one thing about the D780, which is a positive, but needs some discussion is the battery. You do get better battery life from the D780 as you'll get to shoot 1,030 more photos than the D750, but there's a catch. There's no option for an extended battery grip. So you're at the mercy of the one battery's charge. Now the D750 on the other hand, although it has less of a battery life, you do have the option of an extended battery grip, allowing you to work off of two batteries. When it comes to continuous shooting speed, which allows you to capture moving objects in sequence, the D750 shoots at about six and a half frames per second, while the D780 can shoot up to 12 frames per second at 12 bit in silent shooting mode. So the better choice would be the D780 if you're gonna shoot a lot of moving objects. If video is important to you, you're gonna love the D780 because of its better autofocus tracking, 4K capabilities, and better battery life. It's also great if you're a still photographer who shoots in extreme low light situations, or if you need that higher continuous shooting speed and better autofocus for moving objects. On the other hand, the D750 is still a highly rated camera and will get you some amazing photos. It all depends on your budget and what you're looking to shoot. Have you been debating on getting the D750 or the D780? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, remember hit the thumbs up button below, subscribe to our channel, and if you're in Miami, come visit us here at the Digital Go to Showroom. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.